the last antenna style that I want to talk about is just called a microstrip array antenna. And um, a, a patch array antenna, it's in general, it's just some arrangement of multiple patch antennas that are all driven by the same source. And uh, frequently this arrangement consists of patches arranged in orderly rows and columns, which we would just call an, a rectangular array, as I'm showing here in figure A. The reason for these types of arrangements is that you can produce higher gain. Higher gain commonly implies that the beam width is narrower, and indeed that is the case with the patch array. And the array that I'm showing here has a gain of about 18 dBi with an azimuth and elevation plane beam width about 20 degrees. You'll notice that the back lobes are very small and the front to back ratio is about 30 dB. The first side lobes of the antenna are down from the peak about 14 dB for this microstrip array. So that's the last uh, antenna type that I wanted to cover. I'm going to give you a little cheat sheet. This is four pages. I'm not going to really go over, but they've just got some of the different antenna types. So we've got parabolic antenna. You can kind of see for each of these uh, what the gain is, um, what the geometry of the antennas are, what the antenna pattern looks like. I've put beam width in here, what frequencies they tend to be utilized in. And one thing I, I didn't cover uh, was polarization. So it also tells you the polarization of the different antenna. And I've given you information for parabolic antennas, uh, half wave dipoles, a, uh, a quarter wave monopole, the Yagi array. Uh, we didn't go over loop antennas. We just don't have time, but I gave you some information for loop antennas. You can see how what their elevation plane and uh, thing is. We you know this probably doesn't look none of the math that we did in this class kind of supports the circular loop antenna uh, derivation so just too much extra to be able to do in this course but here's some information just so that you're you know there is a loop antenna out there there are also some square antennas and horn antennas which we didn't cover in this class and so just giving you some information if you're interested in you know for your final project building any sort of antenna of of, of those natures um, so that concludes this uh, lecture on uh, antennas and we'll finish up antennas uh, with one more lecture just on how to measure different properties of antennas.